You get heat, heat exhaustion out here if you're not careful. Hot summer temperatures again today. How to protect your body from overheating. Plus, Sarasota students describe the fear they experienced in the classroom following the Parkland shooting. Why the feud between Sarasota County Sheriff and School Superintendent seems to be getting worse. Your Suncoast News starts now. You're watching ABC 7 News at 5. Good evening, I'm Jacqueline Matter. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Topping our news this evening, the first official day of summer bringing some heat to the sun coast. That's right. Let's head over to Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan with the latest on these rising temperatures. Bob? Yeah, and it's not so much the position of the sun uh, this day. Typically, our hottest time comes in August uh, after a little bit of a uh, rebound uh, from the uh, cool fronts that have been coming through here early in the uh, spring part of the uh, year. As far as that goes, though, the Earth's northern hemisphere tilts toward the sun and the highest part of the sun position in the sky is right now. It will start to retreat. It's also the longest day, uh, 13 hours and 52 minutes. Uh, but it's more so the high pressure ridge that continues to dominate the weather over the southeast United States as that jet stream has really retreated right now. And as far as temperatures go, we're already into the upper 80s to low 90s, but the feels like temperature still right around 100 at this point. We have a trough of low pressure to the north of us here. This trough again is causing us to see west wind. Now there's one lone shower uh, right here just off the coast of Venice that's trying to make it in to cool some things down. There it is. It's uh, just south of Venice. It's heading off uh, to the east, but the big storms that are cooling things down are well inland right now. Another hot one expected tomorrow. Our lows tonight will only be right around 80 degrees, so uh, won't uh, get cool for the overnight readings. Back to you. Bob, thank you. Here in Florida, the official first day of summer doesn't feel much different than the last days of spring. But it is still a good reminder that heat exhaustion and heat stroke can be very dangerous. ABC 7's Jackie Kelly tells us what signs to look for while you're enjoying all the Sun Coast has to offer. Jackie. Scott, Jacqueline, it's important to know with it being the first day of summer what your body is saying when it's over exhausted. Now that's especially true for those who have to spend the whole day working outside. You get heat, heat exhaustion out here if you're not careful. While some people have the luxury of working inside, laborers like Leroy Mullet have to get creative with ways to keep themselves cool during these hot months. One thing he and other workers do is put a special cloth in ice water, wring it out, and wrap it around their neck. But that doesn't mean you won't still feel the heat. If you feel yourself getting hot and, and uh, oozy out here, you know, you just need to get in the shade and take a little break and then and then keep on going. Here's how you know you're overheated. Uh, feeling dizzy or lightheaded, um, you may have a headache, uh, you may develop some abdominal cramping or muscle cramping, you may feel nauseous or, or start throwing up or even have some diarrhea. If you're experiencing heat exhaustion, it's important to go into the shade or air conditioned area and hydrate yourself. Make sure you got enough fluids in you. Uh, I keep Gatorade around and, and a lot of ice water and uh, keep it in my truck. You also want to take your age into consideration. Anybody that's uh, older or uh, you know a young child, uh, those people are definitely at higher risk for having complications from getting overheated. So it's really important to take extra precautions uh, if you're going to enjoy a day outside. Now, doctors say if you pass out because of the heat, you're having a heat stroke and it's important to go to the emergency room as soon as possible. Now, they also say if you're going to work out outside, it's best to do that early in the morning or later at night when the heat isn't as bad. Reporting live from Lido Beach, Jackie Kelly, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Jackie, thank you. Now to some breaking news involving a foreign pilot who is wanted for ripping off a person right here in Sarasota County. Now this is a complicated case and we are still gathering information, but here's what we know so far. Marcin Urbanski was arrested on Tuesday at an airport in Maine, and this is video of him in court yesterday. He is facing charges for grand theft in Northport. Police say back in 2015, Urbanski took $9,000 from a person in Northport over the internet, promising to help them become a licensed pilot. But he never followed through on that promise. He then left the country. Police say when they finally caught up to Urbanski this week, he was piloting the Saudi royal family's plane. If he's convicted of the theft charge, he will likely face deportation. Today, former U.S. Representative Gabby Giffords joined students and teachers in Sarasota to push for student safety and gun reform. 
Giffords is a victim of gun violence herself, surviving an assassination attempt while in office in 2011. This morning, she pushed the community to support gun control. Alongside Giffords, high school students and teachers from both Manatee and Sarasota counties who described the fear they experience in the classroom post Parkland. What has happened to common sense? I was taught not to run with scissors, to look both ways before crossing the street, never drink and drive, and to turn off my phone while operating a car. What I didn't think that I would need to be taught is where to hide if there was ever a shooting. Protect our children, our future. Let them lead the way. Make our country a safer place, a better place. The rally today was in support of Democrat David Shapiro, who's running for Republican incumbent Vern Buchanan's seat. He'll first need to beat Jan Schneider in the Democratic primary. In a statement, Buchanan says while he and Giffords may not see eye to eye on gun reform issues, they voted the same way on many other issues while in Congress together. The feud between Sarasota County's sheriff and the school superintendent seems to be getting worse. Dr. Todd Bowden is fighting back after Sheriff Tom Knight sat in front of county commissioners to say he was disgusted about the decisions made by the district's leadership. Bowden says Sheriff Knight is not doing his part when it comes to helping keep students safe for the upcoming school year. The latest decision the sheriff is questioning is removing a school resource officer from Riverview High School's campus, which would leave the school with only one officer. This astonishes me that the message to the community is always the safety and security of their children. And if you're going to do that and say that, you better operationally practice that. The sheriff has withdrawn all funding for school safety and security. Last year, he committed $750,000 to the school resource officer program. And this year, his offer is to contribute nothing, absolutely nothing. Sheriff Knight says he plans to sit down with the school board at a special meeting on June 28th to discuss SROs. After suffering severe damage from Hurricane Irma, Papa Joe's Sports Bar in Sarasota is finally back open. When Irma hit, the roof was ripped off and it rained inside that sports bar for three days. The owner says it took months to get insurance to approve their claim so they could begin rebuilding. Papa Joe's reopened on Monday and the owner says the community has showed a lot of support. We've had a lot of customer support. Monday night was our first night. We were packed. We had over 100 people in here. And uh, every night since then has been busy. Everybody's happy that we're back. Papa Joe's lost everything during that storm, so now they have all new TVs, equipment, pool tables, and much more. There will be a, an official grand opening in the coming weeks. ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joining us now. And Richard, uh, down eight days in a row. I think that might be a record for us. Well, I don't know about a record, well, but I know you're a little young to remember an old TV show <laughs> called Eight is Enough. There was a, was a show like that. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Eight is Enough on Wall Street, too. Indeed, eight is enough. Well, it's eight for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We've had a very interesting period of time because as recently as last night, the NASDAQ closed at a record high while the Dow was closing seven days down in a row. So we do have very much a mixed market. The Dow is down by 251 points at the low of the day. What's happening? How do you spell the word tariffs? Yes, indeed, it just continues to go on. That being said, let's take a look at how we closed. We didn't close with a loss of 250, but how about 196? The Dow closed at 24,461.70, a loss of exactly eight-tenths of 1% on volume of 741 million shares. The NASDAQ, which had been a leader, not today, down nine-tenths of 1%, more than 68 points at 7,712.95, that on volume of 1,871,000,000 shares. The S&P kind of came in in the middle, down six-tenths of 1%, 17.5 points at 2,749. Point seven six. Well, I don't know how many times you've heard me say it's not a stock market, but a market of stocks. Well, you're hearing me say it again. A good example today, just down the road in Orlando, a chain of restaurants called Darden. You may not know the name Darden, but I bet you know the restaurants they own. Olive Garden, sound familiar? How about Seasons 52? Capital Grill, Longhorn Steakhouse. Yes, they own all of them, and the stock was up today in a down market by almost 15%, 1.5, they announced very, very strong sales, very, very strong earnings, 
everything is going right for them. They own, operate more than 1,500 restaurants in total, and Olive Garden is the biggest part of the chain, more than 600 restaurants. And boy, oh boy, I don't know about you, but if you ever go by Olive Garden, good luck finding a parking space. Oh, they're yeah. always busy. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they're doing well. And your tax workshop is coming up next week. Yes, Wednesday and Thursday. We're having a workshop Wednesday in the afternoon or Thursday in the morning. If you'd like to come, we'd be happy to talk about the five myths and probably more about the 2018 tax regulations. 27th and 28th, Wednesday and Thursday. Send an email if you'd like to come to the Stern Group at rwbaird.com or you can call our office at 941 906 28 there's almost as much confusion about taxes as there is about tariffs, so good luck to everybody. All right, thank you, Richard. You're welcome. Coming up, why an important program that helps prison inmates on the Sun Coast is now coming to an end. And Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with your forecast for the weekend ahead, plus how a cup of coffee a day may actually be good for your heart. The ABC7 Stock Report is sponsored by Sunset Cadillac. The ABC7 First Alert weather app just got even better. It's easy to use once you download it. First, tell the app to follow you, so you get alerts pinpointed to exactly where you are. Then customize your settings with all the places you go, from the beach to grandmother's house. Get accurate alerts for everyone you care about. You can even pick which weather alerts and categories you want and what they sound like. More ways to customize and more ways to keep your family safe. Download the ABC7 First Alert weather app today. If you think it's hot outside, just wait until you see even hotter savings inside. Only at Rugs As Art Hot Summer Savings Sale event will you find the lowest prices on a vast selection of stunning rugs, furniture accents, and accessories. This special event only happens once a year, so hurry in before the best selections are gone. The Hot Summer Savings event ends soon, so don't miss out on the best prices ever. Rugs As Art, Sarasota's only area rug superstore. If you don't want to fall immediately into love, look away. If you don't want to awaken a desire for excellence, look away. If you don't want to be seduced, please look away. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Maserati Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to Mesobook.com. Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through True Stage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. True Stage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. And even if you're on a fixed income, prices fit your budget, starting at less than 32 cents a day. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. And with no medical tests or health questions, you cannot be turned down for any reason. Call 1-800-842-7189. Now, for a free, no obligation quote, True Stage offers plans to fit your budget. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1 800 842 7189 now. A program that helps female prison inmates begin the transition back into the community is coming to an end. This morning, women at the Bradenton Bridge Transition Center were transferred back to prison. ABC 7's Marla Spence joins us now from Bradenton with that story. It's a devastating day for about 35 women who had high hopes of transitioning back into normal life with the help of the Bradenton Bridge. This morning, a bus picked up the last group of women from the facility that's known for helping female inmates get their life back on track. Right now, those women are headed back to prison after the program was cut due to funding. 
Monica Lazar, who was once in the program that helped turn her life around, says she's devastated many women won't be getting the opportunity she had. I know some women who were still in prison that were looking forward to the chance to get to come to a program like this. You bring these women out here um, and they're looking for the opportunity at a better future and a better life. And then here you go and crush their dreams and tell them when that big bus pulls up in the driveway, it's time to, to, to pack your things and get on it and go back to a place where a lot of women, I feel, have lost hope. The Bradenton Bridge is a part of Bridges of America. The organization received funding from the Department of Corrections, but now that's all coming to an end. The state is trying to make up for a $28 million shortage in prison funding. As of now, instead of women completing their sentences in a transition reentry and community release center, they'll be completing their time behind bars. I'm Marla Spence reporting for ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Marla. Even during the summer months, Suncoast high schools are competing in science and technology. Tomorrow, the Booker High School engineering team is traveling to Atlanta for the TSA National Conference to compete in events such as animatronics, structural design, transportation modeling. Students choose a competition they're interested in, research it, and then build a model of a complex design. Team advisors say these students are building critical thinking and time management skills. They can take it into college. Um, some of the certifications we offer allows them to exempt some college classes because they've already got the skill set necessary that they can then come back here, come back home, and they're ready to go to work someplace and be overly productive. And that pulls down. Students are also collaborating with local companies and organizations such as Moat Marine Lab, Turfus Tumblr, and architects of the Downtown Quay Project. And they are the future of our area. That's right. So. Yeah. I hope so. Now looking good right there uh, indoors, too. That's what uh, yeah. is nice about <laughs> exactly. that. It's hot out there, and uh, temperatures are going to remain that way, too. We are looking for highs uh, pretty close to seasonal averages. With that west wind, that dew point just goes so high, and it makes for uh, uncomfortable temperatures in the afternoon, especially even in the morning. It's 88 degrees at around 10 o'clock in the morning. You saw that one lone shower on Casey Key off, off in the distance there. There's just one little outlier there. You see it right there? It kind of pops up here and there. It's weakening now, so I don't expect that to move in and cool things down there. But it is getting cool now into Highlands County, also eastern sections of DeSoto and Hardy counties. Not much in the Manatee and Sarasota at this hour. And again, that, that cell right there dissipating as it gets close to us. Some pretty big lightning strikes here occurring right there across uh, parts of central Highlands County. And we take a little bit of a 3D slice of that and show you those storms are above 30,000 feet. That's what it needs to be in order for that lightning to be uh, generating. And you can see it is right there at that uh, plateau for the most part. The strongest part of those storms are at 30,000. And then out in the Gulf of Mexico, these little weak cells trying to make their way to shore, but uh, the atmosphere too stable right there. And that high pressure ridge keeping and knocking those down. Uh, what we have is this high pressure ridge has been bumped down as a result of a trough of low pressure, but that high had been here. That's where it needs to set up. Actually needs to set off the Carolina coast to get us back into that easterly component and bring us those showers and storms in the afternoon and evening, which typically cool us down into the uh, mid to upper 70s through much of the night, but we're not going to be anywhere close to that. Through the evening planner, expect temperatures to stay in the low to mid 80s, but that won't be the factor. The factor will be a heat index right around uh, 90 degrees. Even by 11 o'clock, it'll feel that warm out there. There's a little sliver of dry air that has settled in too, kind of limiting the showers and storms. You'll notice that the tops of the storms are being blown off to the west while the showers themselves are kind of drifting off to the east due to that low level flow coming out of the west southwest. Now it looks like this pattern will stick around on Friday. We'll go through a transition on Saturday and a little bit better chance for some scattered showers and storms over the weekend, at least near the coast, I think beginning on Sunday. Well, they're not getting scattered showers. They're getting dumped down with heavy rainfall in the south Texas right now and also into Mexico associated with some tropical moisture. An area of low pressure continues to whip the Gulf moisture right into Texas and South Texas could see up to a foot of rainfall before it's all said and done. They've been dealing with this system for the last three days now. 88 and winds are out of the west at 13. That westerly flow will continue. There's a storm system making its way right now through Kansas City and Missouri. The attended front again pushing to the southeast. As I mentioned, in August, you don't get these fronts this far south, so these will retreat. High pressure will build over the top of us, and that's typically when we get the hottest here with our actual temperatures getting up to mid-90s and sometimes into the upper 90s. Uh, current temperature 101 in Dallas, 
76 in Cleveland, so much cooler behind that front, 64 in Chicago. For boaters, tomorrow, west winds at 10 knots, and seas will be running two feet or less with a light chop on the bays and inland waters. The first full day of summer, the heat index will be 100 degrees, and then slight chance for showers, and we'll, that transition comes on Sunday with a better chance for scattered showers and storms, and a 60% chance on Monday, and staying pretty typical right through Thursday of next week, so there is some hope for your lawns uh, coming next week. Back to you. Okay, Bob, thanks so much. Let's get a check on first alert traffic. Uh, right now we're seeing some congestion on B Ridge Road uh, just before you get to the I-75 interchange. And this is both east and westbound lanes uh, slow going right now in that area. Jacqueline. Thanks, Scott. In health news tonight, binge drinking when you're young could impact your future children. A new study found early binge drinking may have negative effects on future offspring's growth, including social interactions and pubertal development. Binge drinking during adolescent development can have long lasting effects on the brain. These observations could have consequences for human health as more than 4 million Americans under the age of 21 report engaging in binge drinking. Well, for all of you coffee drinkers out there, there's a new study that says drinking a cup of joe in moderation may actually be good for your heart. ABC Stephanie Ramos tells us why. A new study done in Germany wants to counteract the myth that coffee is bad for your heart. In fact, four cups may actually help it. The study found that a new protein affected by coffee may improve the outcome after heart disease. That study, conducted in mice, showed that four cups of coffee is key to helping a certain protein function. This protein, P27, when acted on by caffeine, improved the outcome after heart attacks. With obesity and type 2 diabetes prevalent in the United States, it's possible that the connection between caffeine and P27 can reduce the risk that comes with these diseases because of their connection to poor heart health. The results showed that caffeine acts on the protein, allowing cells to get more energy and blood flow throughout the heart. This means fewer heart cells dying. More caffeine meant more effective protein and even better survival. With coffee being a potential protectant for the heart, researchers want to look into it more. The next step is to look at this protein outside of mice and in humans. The study also warns, regardless of the research, it's important to drink in moderation. With this Medical Minute, I'm Stephanie Ramos for ABC News. Coming up, a dramatic rescue and a fiery crash all caught on camera. Plus, a look at the fake bomb that delayed travelers at a busy airport for almost half an hour. Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru vehicles hold their value better than any other brand for 2018, according to ALG. And Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's most trusted brand for four years running. The Subaru Forester is an IIHS top safety pick for 12 years running. And right now, you can lease a new Subaru Forester for just $2.29 a month or get 0% financing with zero down. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Planning a carnival fantasy cruise out of Mobile? 
Then check out the park and cruise packages at the luxurious Battle House and Renaissance Riverview Plaza hotels. Stay at the Battle House for $169 per night or the Riverview Plaza for just $149 per night and leave your car for the duration of your cruise. Includes transportation to and from the cruise terminal. If you're cruising out of Mobile, come stay with us. Call 1-800-MARRIOTT or visit Marriott.com now. The summer sizzles at the Player Center with the opening of Crossing Delancey. City cultures collide in this charming play about a young woman searching for love and the New York dream. Opening June 14th, call 365-2494 or visit theplayers.org. Get your tickets to the perfect romantic comedy, Crossing Delancey. An amazing rescue caught on camera. Nevada Highway Patrol troopers move into action after witnessing a car hit a wall and explode. They were in the right place at the right time, certainly. Body cam footage captures the moment troopers move in on that fiery wreck. One dragging away the injured driver who made it out but could not move. But the danger was not over as ammunition inside the SUV started to explode, hitting an NHP trainee. That trainee, who is okay, making the department proud and learning quickly that you never know what's going to happen when you're out in the field like that. After a phony bomb shut down security checkpoint at Chicago's O'Hare Airport for almost half an hour yesterday, we are now getting a look at that bomb. This fake improvised explosive device was pulled from a traveler's carry-on bag. TSA agents probably knew right away the decoy uh, strapped to grandma's old Sears clock radio and a fake wooden clock with painted on hands was not real. But that didn't matter because when x-ray monitors detect possible explosives, a specialist must respond before that bag can even be opened. Now, a warning for those who are planning some summer travel. TSA discovered 78 firearms and carry-on bags at airports around the country just last week. And of those guns, 61 were loaded, 25 had a round in the chamber. That's why the TSA suggests if you are flying, leave the weapons at home. Anyone who tries to bring a weapon past security can face arrest and steep fines. A small dog found itself in a bit of a tough spot on Wednesday. Rescue crews came to help after the pooch somehow ended up down a river wall. The frightened pooch would not budge until a Pennsylvania firefighter picked her up and then climbed up the ladder. Still to come on your Suncoast News, a new diverging diamond at the Fruitville Road and I-75 interchange is raising concerns why some are not on board. Plus, as lawmakers continue to battle over immigration laws, a look at the human side of that ongoing crisis. Lots of sun, absolutely no fun. Yeah, we towed it all the way up there for nothing. Our weekend was dead in the water. Sure, we could still sit on it, but what fun is that? Dead boat batteries sinking your spirits? Right now, you can save $10 on Duracell Ultramarine batteries and Batteries Plus bulbs. We should have named it the SS Going Nowhere. Visit BatteriesPlus.com for a store near you. You want a Maserati, but you need an SUV. Why not have both? Levante, the Maserati of SUVs. Experience it at Sunset Maserati Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. Grab your gardening tools. The start of Suncoast summer is here. I'm Joey Panic on Suncoast View. We join a master gardener class to learn the secrets of caring for our delicate Suncoast plants. Then Urbanite Theater brings the latest in their cutting edge play. We'll get a preview of Incognito. Plus, Dad gets a makeover after Father's Day, and Gold Rush Barbecue joins us in the kitchen. 
tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. For more than 100 years, American Humane Association has been teaching kids to be kind to animals. Those in our homes, on the farms, on the silver screen, and wildlife conservation caring for the world's vanishing creatures. But we can't do it alone. Visit kindness100.org to find ways to teach kids how they can make a more caring, compassionate, and humane world for all of us. There was this big bruise on my friend's face. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to think her own nephew could have hit her. I didn't want to see it. My mother's bank account was emptied and her caregiver had taken control of it. I didn't want to see it. My father's refrigerator, there was hardly anything in it. That's unusual for him. It's tough to see that a senior citizen is being abused, physically, emotionally, sexually, or financially. Elder abuse is a crime. So see the signs, stop the crimes.